Hello everyone, welcome back to some more XCOM 2. Our only objective here is to destroy all enemies, so I'm feeling like that's probably pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and move up here. Rolling out. First turn's pretty much always got some good dashes, especially... Especially if there's a muton. Well, that sucks. And a new guy. Oh, I was gonna say, especially if uh, you're in concealment, then the dashes are easy. Let's get you up high over here. Could go on the roof. I like this spot a little bit better. On it. Should be able to get there next turn. So you won't get revealed unless you reveal yourself. Uh, let's get closer. Will do. You should be safe to go there. Okay. Uh, let's get here. Moving out. And then Alice Cartwright, Cyber. Get up behind. Closing in fast. They move away? It would appear so. Okay. Start with big time first. Get you up here. A turret. That's four armor on a turret. Jeez. At least it doesn't have a lot of sight range, but still. That's nasty. Wow. Cyber. Let's see. Medical protocol. Remote hacking. Field medic. So you don't have the ability. No, you have haywire protocol. Okay. Let's get you over here. Make sure you're not... Okay. Uh, we'll probably get you over there. Hang on. Let's first fire a battle scanner over here at anywhere. Nowhere that's really all that useful. Well, then we're going to have to scout manually. James Phillips, get up. Okay, no eyes. Good then you can scoot good. over to where Phillips once was, and you can now fire a, a battle scanner out here. Maybe give us some good information. Try that. Gosh dang it, I pressed the wrong button. Try that. There we go. So there they are, but that's all we see is just them. Which is fine. But it makes me worried. Where's the other group? There's got It's a difficult mission, so there's going to be a lot of enemies. Okay. You can safely get over here. I don't think they're going to get in any sort of dangerous position on us this turn. Overwatch. Why don't you get cover over here? Roger that. All right. Scanning. So they're going this way. Okay. I'm glad we have rockets because we might just need them. Pitbull could really take up some serious ground here. But first... Cyber. Yeah, I, I think here's probably going to be your better position. Or I guess you already had Haywire Protocol from where you were? I don't know. You do for certain now. I'll see what I can do. Oh, what's the hack chance? Thank <laughs> you. 
Veiled Hack, increase this target's aim and defense. Oh my goodness. So we could stun it or temporarily take control. Oh my goodness. That's rough. That's a heavy turret. I want to take control, but I think we're, we might have to go for the stun. Not this turn. Not this turn. I want to be in a position where we are ready to deal with a failed hack and the mutons that are waiting for us. So James Phillips. Get over here. Okay. Pitbull. Honestly, you should probably not go through the house. Yeah, go right here. I think you'll be okay right here. Get it done. Go, 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 go. Okay. And then big money. Oh, right here. No need to ask twice. Overwatch. Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Okay, they're coming. They should not see us. Oh, buddy. They are right there. They are right there. Okay. Well. It's a rough situation. Needless to say, it's a rough situation. I think you, Overwatch. Overwatch. You will probably shoot your rocket. You're going to be support wherever we need it. You we're going to hold on to for quick hands just in case. Oh, but it's so tempting here to use kill zone. Let's take a reaction shot against everybody. Okay. Take take kill zone. Okay. So we're going to take a rocket shot here and hopefully this will be good enough. Going hot. Boom. Wow. What a rocket. Dude. Our resistance contacts have heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry what else you got? Ah! Hey, but that one hit. Holy cow. Boy, we tore into them. Okay. Lightning hands. Guarantees us a kill. Take it. Bam. Just like that. Impressed yet? Oh, I'm definitely impressed by lightning hands. Uh, it is a really good opportunity. I think I'd rather be safe and just shoot. If I'm honest. Just don't go to that rock. There, there you go. That one's nice and safe. You can't go around? Whatever. You're going to be shooting anyways. Who cares? Absolutely. They've seen me. Yeah, you're fine. 80%. Come on. Nice. What a shot. What a player. 
All that's left is Maggie McKenzie. We have an advanced turret. A rocket could hit dead on. Does four to seven damage, shreds a lot of armor. Or 100% chance to just nail him hard. Nail him hard. I'd like to save a rocket if we can. Oh, what a shot. Well done. Okay. Still holding. So he's going to take a shot. Good miss. I'm under fire. Absolutely good miss. And then you overwatch. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take another shot. Guaranteed kill. Love this Gauss rifle, man. Look at this. Boom. Overwatch removed. Did you see that one? I did. You did well. Could have gone for the hack. Don't see a reason to right now. See, so you have the battle scanner. Scooch up. Hey, I'll go. I'd like to see a battle scan of our the forward area. Maybe there will be something we care about. Uh, probably over in this general region. Yeah, there's a lot of things we care about over there. That was a really good battle scan. Viper, Muton. We've got at least two guys right here. They might just be at the edge. Double Viper, Muton. And then two advanced troopers. Boy, that's rough. Okay. Low over it. So they should be far enough away. We shouldn't have to worry about them for some time. Couple moves, anyways. Moving out. Boy, that kill zone was nice, though. It really was. I like it. Ready to rock. Okay. I'd like, uh, I'd like to at least be able to see what direction they moved. What good's the battle scanner for if we can't see them? All right. I'm most concerned about, obviously, the Viper, Viper Muton pod. That one is a little scary. Go ahead and move up, Cyber. Moving to designated position. Okay. Pit bull. Get up close. If I can avoid triggering them, I will. At least for this turn. I'm trusting you here. You better. Okay, reload if you got it. Overwatch if you don't. Okay. Scooch up. Okay, what do we find? They did not move. Okay. Big Money still has a rocket. I think that's exactly what Big Money's gonna do here. From here, you see all of them. From here, you see only one, which is the Muton. Cyber still has her rocket. Oh, this is definitely Rocket Central. Right here, I think, is best case scenario. Blows up a lot of stuff. Uh, hang on. That's critical supplies they're hiding behind. The jerks. They're hiding behind critical supplies. Okay. We'll just have to avoid hitting it. Can we get... Come on. Right there. Going 
shredded, covered, destroyed, and damaged. Sniper. You do not see the Viper. Wish you did. What do you got? Combat protocol. You know, that's a good finisher. We use, we'll open with combat protocol. It's a good finisher. Oh. Alright. Go, little gremlin, go! Zap. Viper down. That's a good kill. It's a very good kill. So here you will see the muton. Should see the muton. I got eyes on advent troops. Oh, that's really bad. That's actually just awful, awful luck. Well, you got four. Oh, you can see that trooper. Okay, I see you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, grenade over here isn't going to be ideal. You can grenade into the building. Aha. Okay, that's not bad if we can get a grenade out here. I saw one. It's like literally just super hard to get to. We saw it. It exists. There we go. Okay. Wait. So get out here. So we can hit the guy that's out here. We know there's a guy over here, but we don't care about that guy. Wait. Uh, I'm homing in on it. Come on. We saw it. Oh. This is so, so frustrating. Come on. Oh, oh, wait. We see it. We know it exists. This is... Why? Right there. That's the grenade we want. This is that is you. such a good grenade. Boom. Now he's revealed. 100% chance. You have death from above. Take it. Boom. Good oh, shoot. So that is not end your turn. You still have pistol overwatch. We'll take it. And you are all that's left, Pitbull. You know, if you're gonna kill... If you're gonna hit the Viper, you should kill the Viper. Give it your best shot, Pitbull. Where that came from. Ah! Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Nice pistol overwatch. Oh, he's hurting. Good shooting. Good miss. Looks like the car's okay still. Waiting for the other two though. They're the one. These are the ones we're worried about. He's closer. Ah, oh, crap. Oh! This looks a little ugly. Ah! Whoa! So ah! oh, we found out what the grab does. Ouch! Pitbull, 
can't do anything with you yet. Curious. Ah, uh, I can't use. Dang it. Okay, hang on. Lightning hands. You may as well open with lightning hands. It might change how things go. Not quite. In fact, that's really only frustrating. Cyber's in a rough spot. I think Cyber, her entire turn is going to be healing herself. Okay. Uh, what we can do here. Combat protocol will kill this guy. So that's one less guy to worry about immediately. Guaranteed two damage is really paying off here. Big Money still has a rocket. I feel like we have to do this, honestly. Coming your way. Feel like we have to. That's really good damage, and now he's available to be shot. Death from above. <laughs> Well done. You knew that was good. I'll find something here. Pistol Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. So that was your entire move, really? Huh. Alright, well. Cyber, I hate to break it to you, but you gotta use a medikit. Get over here. It's a really safe position. And you gotta heal yourself. That's the only way to really do it here. You gotta heal yourself. Go heal him. Medic! Yeah, car already went boom, I think. Hi. What luck! Holy crap, that was a lucky shot. So is the Viper occupied? The Viper's occupied. I'm good with that. Okay, big money, you're gonna have to move. We're gonna put you right here. I, I guess that'll be okay. It will be. So grenade, slip that in here. I'd like to see if we could actually land it on him, but it's, oh wait, there's a spot. Grenade. Okay, grenade hits him, also destroys his cover. That's ideal. Because now we have Death from above. Boom. We are making bank on that one. Holy cow. And now since things opened up a little bit. Rocket chance. Maybe. I don't know if this will hurt our own guy, but he should be able to take the, the damage. He has... Three, six, seven, eight. So as long as it doesn't crit him, he should be fine. Boom. We'll find out if explosives hurt or not. It would appear that they do not hurt our own guys. So that's good. Pitbull. I think revenge is in order here. Acquire some. Goodbye. That's how it's done. Status confirmed. 
All hostiles are down and the area is secure. God. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a brutal mission, and I am not happy about how that went. Cyber's gonna be out for like a month at least. No way! We hit every single shot? No way! Oh my goodness! Wow! Well, no one's gonna beat that record again. That's, that is as much as it can possibly be. Holy crap, I can't believe we hit every single shot. And I said I wasn't happy about how that went. That, it could not have possibly gone any better. We hit every single shot. I guess I'm not happy about how many soldiers were injured. Let's put it that way. We got a lot of injuries and I, we, I'm thinking we're gonna have to take an engineer from somewhere and put him in the med bay because we are in a rough position having so many senior officers go to go get hit like that but we had a shaken soldier who i don't think got damaged at all so that's also huge that brings a soldier back into the fight absolutely a positive move there and i say pitbull really wrecked face well done and our sniper, so many deaths from above. Oh man, so many deaths from above. Maggie McKenzie, I would say, got the most kills there. Maggie McKenzie did well. Oh man. And yet, only Phillips is the one that got a promotion. Untouchable, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is awesome. We're going to go Haywire Protocol here. Wow. That is stupidly powerful. Wild thing. Well done. Delirium Core, awesome. Alloys, Crystals, and Supplies. Unfortunately, no intel. What we want is intel right now. We got a shield bearer corpse. The advent shield bearers are among the most heavily armored of the conventional alien forces. Once we pull the suit apart, I'm sure the engineering team will find some means of integrating these improvements into our armor designs. And then an advent turret. The advent turrets rely on the aliens' advanced automation technology, providing security emplacements to bolster their peacekeeping forces. Once we've gotten a look at the inner workings, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chance of defending against UFO attacks. That sounds useful. Will restored and increased. Reduced will for Zhang. Big money, huh? Zero so shaken? That sucks. All right, well, let's look in the armory real quick. Our soldiers. We talk to that hustler running the black market. Maybe she can help us out restocking the bar. Huh. Cyber's only out for eight days. Figured it would have been more than that. Do we have someone already helping people in the medic? No. It just really wasn't that bad. Huh. Okay. What's up? I would love to, but that's a little far away. I'm surprised we even get it as an option. We only have five intel. Man. I want to get more intel, but I... It, it gains at such a slow rate that I don't see it being feasible. We need missions for intel. I've so we're going to go grab supplies instead. Strategic awesome. Located. Wow, 70 supplies. That's solid. It came out of an aircraft, it looked like. I think that's what it said. Well, I mean, we have a an option for a scientist. I guess we probably should. Avenger plotting new course. 
just whatever guerrilla actions show up, we kind of sort of have to take intel no matter what. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. So we have psionics. Codename Geller, or Jeller, depending on what group you'd belong to. By closely examining the Allies' own means of harnessing and wielding psionic energy, I believe the chances are good that we'll have more than enough viable candidates to serve as psi operatives. However, with the advanced psionic capabilities we've seen from the various alien species in the field, it may not be enough. In preparation for this new class of soldiers, I've used the chip removed from the commander to study the technology needed to focus and divert psionic energy. As a result, I've developed a psionic amplifier capable of focusing and enhancing the psionic energy that will be trained to harness. Although the potential for negative side effects will be high, I foresee the possibility that our soldiers will be able to push their new powers beyond the limits of what we might consider safe. So we have a Psy Lab. It allows rookie soldiers to train as Psy operatives, substituting standard soldier training for the intense mental ordeal. And then Advanced Psy Amp. This evolved version of the Psy Amp channels the user's psionic energy far more clearly, enabling greater psionic strength in our operatives. Psy of offense and psionic attack damage of some abilities is improved when carrying this advanced amplifier. Viper Autopsy is now instant. Well, let's research it then. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. So it is. Codename Strangle. How original. I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species' genetics are to the constant tweaks they're often subjected to. In the case of the Viper, a species once identified as the infiltration unit known as a Thin Man, the aliens have made a conscious reduction in their efforts to disguise its true form. Without the introduction of extensive human genetic material, the Viper reverts to a purely reptilian form while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The Viper's snake-like form is, in many ways, similar to the legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso, musculature allows for upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allow for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many alien species our troops encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. Battlefield Medicine. The venom injected by the Viper into its victim is nasty stuff, capable of taking down even the biggest, toughest soldier. However, it also contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated for use in our medicates greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. So we can research Illyrium, of which we probably should. The rest of them look like they're all just... Yeah, they're all just autopsies. Go for your Advent turret breakdown. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. Well, hopefully it'll be as good as it purports to be. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Commander? Probably will. So we have lots of alloys and some cash. 
Wow, that takes a lot of different stuff. It's tempting. It's very tempting to start building some of this stuff. I've had a chance to take a closer look at some of the advent weapons recovered from the field. The alloy used in their frames is significantly lighter, making them more suited to the human form. I'm guessing it's the same material we've seen them using all over the colonies, but they'd have to be producing it from something here on Earth. They seem to have an endless supply of this stuff. Hopefully whatever that place is on Earth they're producing it from, we can get a hold of. Well, let's start on Battlefield Medicine. So I think that'll make our medikit stronger, and right now we have tons and tons of health. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. So that's going to take a long time to do. Okay. Gotcha. Well. Hey, Commander. At the very least, right now, I, I really want mag cannons. At the very least. It's about time we get those, you know? Can we get it? Ah! No! Come on! Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We need missions to give us intel. Come on. What? What is this? Commander. We want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Oh, come on. All right, well, we got a scientist. Let's go back to HQ. Setting course for Western United States. We really need more intel. Urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Yeah, give me intel. Major breakthrough? Fuck! Advent stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next... <laughs> Wow. We're just getting screwed. We're getting actively screwed. I really would like to have some intel, please. Do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Advent uh, doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. Advent turret breakdown. We've run across the Advent turrets in a variety of places, mainly near the security checkpoints and other areas they're trying to lock down. Now we've finally gotten a chance to pull one apart, I can say with certainty that the turrets are operating entirely on their own, with no outside controller or remote direction given. As much as I'd like to test the targeting sensors, Central and Dr. Tygen have both expressed their concerns about test firing the systems before we know how it discerns between friendly and hostile targets. Considering how close the aliens position to these things to civilian occupied areas, the target recognition software must be incredibly accurate or incredibly basic. I wouldn't be all that surprised if the aliens were just flipping the switch and setting these loose on anyone caught in the firing radius. I'll see about setting up some sort of test environment. So we can build the defense matrix. The repurpose has recovered advent turrets as automated defense to be deployed in case of ground assault on the Avenger. Alright. Well, start working on Illyrium. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. New objective added. Build the shadow chamber. Having developed a greater understanding of the aliens' encryption methods, we can now construct a facility designed specifically to analyze any materials we recover related to their Avatar project. I would suggest we begin immediately, Commander. Okay.
Yep. Alright, well. I guess that's our next mission, guys. Setting we're up to 10 intel. Regional tract. But we're not getting any more intel. I feel like this, this playthrough is screwed. But I guess we'll find out in future episodes, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe, and share. As always, uh, I'll see you next time. DFTBA.